Well, folks, it is time. The structure is finished. The, the, the tiny pallet cabin that Dad has built is finally finished. Checking it out for the first time. I've not been inside yet. I've only been editing these videos. Uh, it's been something, I have to admit, just going through the footage and having a look. I am impressed, Dad. Yeah, it's about better than the original pallet cabin. That I, we, we were saying that. It's actually, it, it looks a better build from when I've been editing. Bigger, uh, I can't bigger. wait to see inside. Now, obviously we built this for my daughter, Dad's granddaughter, but having looked into YouTube's good old policies and things like that about featuring minors in videos, um, we're not too sure at the moment about whether we'd like to feature her in the, in yeah, the videos yeah. themselves. It's a decision we're going to think about and talk about, but to be honest, at the moment, we're swaying away from it. So um, obviously she's going to hopefully enjoy it and love it, but we don't need to be plastering her all over the internet necessarily just for the, for the sake of it. So hopefully you guys will understand that and appreciate that. And um, yeah, let's go check this out and see what it's like. Yeah. Yeah. Jax is going to join us as well. It's his first time to see the cabin as well. So here we go. Do the honours, Dad. Go on in, see if there's any mice. In. Go on. Good go on. boy. He's in. I'm looking forward to seeing it. We'll have a look at the veranda, the porch in a minute. Look at this, hey, look at that. We got a ducky yeah. on the bed already. He's and, in prime place. He's not being eaten by Jax. Yeah. <laughs> I'm amazed Jax has left him actually. Oh, it's a nice muddy paws on oh, the Oh, Jax, <laughs> off the pillow. Off the pillow. God. Wow, look at this. That's the chair. You think it won't even take the dog. It will it'll not only take the dog, it'll take me <laughs> and the dog. <laughs> I only make so, good good pallet wood chairs. So Eve, once she learns how to read properly, she can have a read on that chair. Yeah. Absolutely. And I see she's got a rather impressive kitchen over here. Yeah, she has, yeah. She's yes. got to, uh, she's put her tea set in already. Yeah. She's been here to put the tea set in. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, teapots, a couple of toys to play with. She's got a little lights so up So is there. that, a, is that like a dresser? That's a little, yeah. a half of a Welsh dresser made out of pallet wood and a bit of old ply I had left over. <laughs> That's awesome. The cooker was a second-hand cooker. No, I'm not sure she'll be uh, it was turning you. the gas on, but Probably it's worse, there. We showed the piece of cooking in here. That well, works. you that's, cooked. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've done a cooking thing. That's fully, fully uh, usable. Gas bottle's underneath, <laughs> together with the dog, I think. He's down there. Yeah, is he under of, there? I think he's under there. No. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing? He's mousy, isn't What's he doing, Jack? Put him out of there. If he goes there. Yeah, so she's got a very nice, probably 200-year-old <laughs> kettle. That at one years old she won't be able to lift. <laughs> An unbelievable source from here. I cannot, we were telling, you know, obviously we put that in there. Um, she's not ever going to pick that up. <laughs> Neither's my wife. It weighs a ton. It is solid, what? sealed around the edges. And look inside, it's even been repaired with solder. It's wow. what I think it's called tinned. I think they call that tin tinned line inside. sort of thing. I cannot imagine if the women of years ago. Filling that with water and potatoes and lift it That's in. why it's got such a long hand. Oh, well, copper, because it transmits Yeah. Heat, so it keeps warm. If she wants to make a jelly mould, <laughs> it has an enormous fish jelly mould there. Oh, look, she's got a clock. She can keep track of the time. Keep track of the time, yeah. So yeah. she can sleep and have her little alarm go off here. Exactly, yeah. And what a view she has. Absolutely. That's yeah. rather impressive for a one-year-old, I have to admit. Uh, <laughs> we've had quite a lot of rain, bone drying here. Yeah. Little piece of carpet. And look, the bed. Talk about the bed. Look at this setup. Yeah, that's a luxury. So we've got the bed. So what's the bed? This is, this is so this all folds bed. up. This all folds up and hooks up here. So look, I've just lifted gently. It will all what's fold ducky? up. Watch Ducky. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So you've got the folding it. legs under there. Yeah, folding legs. It's the same as you did in your bunker film. Oh, yeah. That same principle hinges on so the back. So then you've got loads of space and she can play yeah, in the back they, the toys they there. They see it all being built in the film so people can adapt or make what they want, can't they, really? Yeah. Um, this was a piece of new foam left over from a chair you had. It's not a settee, wasn't it? The foam uh, is one of those folding beds, I think. Yeah, yeah, I cut it all up and I cut and stitched it, so it's it's fine. I am actually going to have, I feel, an overnight here, because I've measured this, <laughs> and this will take an adult, and it'll take the adult weight as well. Ah, oh, it's pretty comfortable. Well, someone's got to test oh. it, look. Oh, yeah, there's nothing <laughs> wrong with that. So I'm going to boot Eve out. <laughs> so, yeah. and then we've got another window at the end there. So she's got dual aspects, Dad. Oh God, dual aspects. Dual aspect. Imagine the estate agents, the real estate are mad. Oh gee, you got dual aspect there. <laughs> Looking at the famous tackle shack. <laughs> yeah, and then we got some windows there. It opens here, outwards rather than inwards. Otherwise, if she has some other friends and that round to play. Oh, hello, mister. Like this, <laughs> has other friends round to play, they might walk into it, you know? So yeah. this way I figured. And somebody said, why not put a bolt on the inside? Well, why? Because you know what kids are like, they're gonna lock themselves in. <laughs> That's true. 
the outside chair with a pattern. He's absolutely happy up there. Whoa. <laughs> Welcome on, <home>, buddy. <laughs> um, you can sit on that, and we've made it so it's just the height that an adult. Come on, bud. Can sit in. Can sit here. So secretly, Dad, this is really for yeah. you and Mum, I reckon. Look, we could if we lean back. <laughs> We can sit, chill, little table there, glass of pina colada. I think it's good. Um, I'll, oh, put it's a gate in. I'll put a gate in there. Yeah. Escape gate. Escape gate so we can go out there if you want. If you want to go mousing, if she, yeah. <laughs> if she wants to go out looking for mice. With jacks, yeah. Yes, yeah. <clears throat> and then, obviously, we're talking a village build, so we're going to build other stuff, hopefully, for Feed, her yeah. to play in. So there's access to get to another project, a project we've got. Yeah. And, look, I mean, look, this is awesome. Absolutely awesome. He's got a little mirror in there, vanity mirror over there as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is something else. What kid wouldn't want to play with this? We also built down here a log store. Well, he looks like a mouse store to the dog, look, Jacks. obviously. Oi, Jacks. <laughs> <laughs> you can't have a jack rattle, can you? That's the way they are. Oi, Jacks. So you can see we've got a bit of plastic down there, a bit of wood, and in fairness, that's all bone dry. Um, and I'll use some of the old slates left over from the roof there just to keep it. Jacks, leave that. He's after Good anything boy. he can. And you got some, yeah, you got the plants and everything. Look at this. Yeah, put some plants. I've got a plant all in here, but the time of making this film, just finishing off, it's been really cold, so I didn't want to put any bedding plants out as such because if we do get a frost, there's not an overhang here. I see. If that yeah. makes sense, so they could get a frost. So look, we've done that much work. I don't want to stop now, um, but I want to make that nice. And I've got a feeling the adults will be down here having a barbecue more than just, the youngsters. I was just thinking, but she and then she's got a bark area to play in here. Yeah, carpet underneath over the top. Yeah, a little bit of bark. But look, I mean, that is some luxury cabin for a one year old. She's going to love it. It's a survival cabin for a one-year-old. Yeah. They could definitely survive in there. Dad, I'm seriously impressed with this. Uh, I think E's going to absolutely love it. I've really enjoyed just watching the process when editing it. So Dad filmed, for you, for, the, most, for those of you that don't know, Dad filmed this during um, one of the lockdowns. Yeah, second, a few, second we, third, I think We've had a few now, I can't remember which one. Yeah. But he started it back in the winter. Yeah. Um, and I, he's updated me over the phone how it's been going. And then... And then uh, I've been editing it and it's just been insane to watch. So what, how long, uh, well, I guess, how long did it take? Well, I suppose it's on and off, but I mean, there's a lot of on in the evenings because I could do it in the garage. Yeah. But the biggest problem I had was getting, what I wanted was a long pallet. Um, now over here, there's a few places I can go to on industrial estates where they have a 12, a 10 or 12 foot pallet, but they don't get them all the time. And it took me ages. It probably took me four months to get enough wood of the right length so I could do a whole strip and build stuff. Um, all I would say is it's a bit of a pain this year because with the lockdown, the businesses aren't doing the business. So there's less there's, pallets. Yeah, there's yeah. less pallets. I had a lot of trouble getting long pallets. For those, and also we get this question all the time. Where do we get, because I think in the US you guys have to pay for yeah. pallets. Um, we, in the, certainly what we've done yeah. in the past with pallet wood projects is we go around various supermarkets, industrial estates and things like that. And you just ask, ask them, yeah. ask for the manager and ask them, uh, can we can we have a few pallets to take home for a project? Uh, more than more often than not, here in the UK, they let you because they yeah. want they want you to because they have to pay a company to dispose of the pallets. Don't yeah, they, they trash them and pulp them and all stuff. So they, like that, yeah, yeah, or they pay a pallet collecting company to yeah. come and get them. So whereas for us, you know, they, they, to give a couple of pallets away to, to Joe Buck and Joe Public really is yeah, yeah, nothing yeah, for them. Yeah. Well, it? I mean, sometimes they're happy to get rid of them, as, yeah. as, as Mike said, but. I, one thing I will say, even though I've known these people sometimes for years, um, I ask. I always, always give them the courtesy of asking. They just say, turn up and take them, Graham. We know you. No, no. If it's on always CCTV, yeah. someone's going to film you and phone the police and say, this guy's stealing pallets. No. Always. I'm only telling you what I do. Yeah. Just out of courtesy, which is rare nowadays, just ask. Each time, if you do get in with somebody... And that's the trick of it is to find out, you know, when they're getting deliveries in, they come and tell you and you can get in before the mashing people get in there. Another question we away. always get asked and you probably don't know because you do so much collecting. Roughly how many pallets do you reckon? I, I couldn't tell It's you. so I hard because Dad never really I, counts them count when he them, collects them. them. He just collects them and as he gets them, he pulls them apart. Once he's pulled them apart, you, I bet you don't realise how many pieces of wood were in the pallet at that time. So no, you just stack uh, them, don't you? Uh, and, and a lot of the time, if you get them from the right industrial estates, you don't want like greasy ones, an engineering company mm. or something like that. There's all engine parts. You want somebody that has a, a clean type delivery, if that makes sense. That brings me to another point. Yeah. Loads of people are going to say, pallets are poisonous. 
Not not all pallets are no. poisonous. There's, they're treated in different ways. There's chemical treated ones. There's heat treated ones. There's untreated ones. There's loads of different varieties of uh, pallet out there. Most of these are all untreated. We, yeah, we don't we, we don't go for the chemical ones. Obviously, yeah. this is a cabin for a one year old. We're not going to go for that sort of thing. So it is. And safe no one's wood. living here. No it's, one's no one's going to live yeah, in them. Yeah. It's safe wood. Admittedly, it's very splintery. Yeah. So it's going to harden her up. That's for sure. But what? A project absolutely absolutely awesome good and the, and the slates made a difference i was going to use yeah. a a concrete tile because i had some left over and i was just bothered about the weight you know i thought how much weight is there going to be yeah. up there if you're you roofing people can work it all out i can't <laughs> um, so i put extra double battens up on I the top there that, yeah. you know just to take the slates and spoke to the roofing people and i thought that's the way to go and i gave them the measurements and i've got a lot of slates left over. Yeah. No, it's amazing though. Isn't <laughs> Unfortunately. It? It's so good. And actually, this project has been, honestly, it was on a whim. We just said, should we yeah. build something for Eve? And it's it's doing really well. It's really popular. We're really pleased. That's that's the whole point is of TA Outdoors and TA Fishing, is to get you guys out there and get you inspired. It's like a backyard build. Exactly. Because anybody could do this. Yeah, in, in, it's in a accessible for yeah. everyone. Um, what we will say is we've already nearly finished the second structure of the village, which is looking awesome. I can't yeah. wait to show you guys that. So stay tuned because this is going to be part of a series. It's not just the cabin. It's there's, a village. There's other parts that we're building for Eve's, my daughter's mini village. Uh, but also, do me a favour, guys. Go on over to Dad's channel, TA Fishing. Hit that subscribe button, please. He's put so many hours and effort into this. 900 he, films. He, he's earned it. He's earned your subscription. Don't just subscribe to me because we've put it on this channel. But get on over to Dad's channel, TA Fishing. There's a link in the description. And hit that subscribe button. I think I'm the oldest fishing YouTuber in the world. <laughs> it's an that. impressive Someone's going to Google that. So, <laughs> well, I reckon you could be, though, see? I think so, yeah. <laughs> 70 this year. Yeah, the big 7-0. The big 7-0. Three school years and 10. <laughs> I could do another 20, 30. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Yeah. I really appreciate it. This has been an absolute blast. Um, and, yeah, we will catch you guys in the next episode of The Build, which will be up very soon. You want a cake? Oh, lovely cake.